All right, let's switch things a little bit today. Let's talk about this proof, which shows that all languages are regular. And of course, we know that this is not true. So what I want you to do is to spot the error in the proof that we're going to actually do right here. So let's see. So the first step in this proof is to say, well, if we have a given string, so if we have a string w in sigma star, then this language, which is just the string and nothing else, is regular. And why is this? So what is the justification for this? Well, let's just say that w is w1, w2, w3, up to wn, where each of the wi is a single character, just naming the characters. Well, we could just make a simple NFA that accepts exactly this string and no other string. So how do we do it? What we do is we have a start state. First transition is W1. Next transition is W2. Next transition is W3, etc. And then finally, WN on the very last transition going to an accept state. And this NFA does not accept any other string other than a single string W. So once I tell you the string W, this NFA is, uh, this NFA accepts exactly that string and no other ones. Okay, so that's the first step in the proof, quote unquote proof. The second step is, well, we know that regular languages are closed under union. And the justification for this is that the product construction, which we have done a video about already, shows that this is true. That if I have two regular languages, I can form a, if their union is regular. I can make a DFA for each one of them, and I can uh, use the product construction to show that their union is regular. Great. Another thing here is the language of just a single string. So here we're given string w. So the language which just has the single string uh, w is regular. And what is the justification for this? Well, we have an NFA in part one above for that language. Let me redo this so it looks a little nicer. So we have an NFA above for that language. And we know that NFAs and DFAs are equivalent, so the language which just has a single string in it is regular. Okay, so then let's look at this language. So let L, that language we're talking about, well, it's a set of strings. So let's just call them W1, W2, W3, and it may or may not be infinite. So let's just look at it this way. Well, another way of looking at it is we can just union over every single string in that language the singleton set, uh, which has a single string in it. So we, we can decompose the language into a bunch of single strings, and that gives us the whole language. And that's literally what the definition of a language is. So there's really no justification needed for that. Okay, well, let's see. Then we can conclude that L is regular, right? Because, well, what's the justification for this? Well, each of the, the singleton sets containing a single string is regular. So this one is by number three above. And 
the whole union here with the argument being that singleton language is regular by the fact that number two says that that regular languages are closed in union. So I take all of these unions and the result is regular because each one of the languages considered is regular. And L is equal to that union, so therefore L is regular. And we didn't assume anything particular about what L is. L can be any language. And so therefore, by the properties of regular languages, L must be regular. So this tells us L is regular. And L was arbitrary, so that tells us that all languages are regular. But we clearly know of an example that is a counterexample to this, which is 0 to the n, 1 to the n, which we've done a video on. So where's the issue with this? So what step actually causes the problem? Is it step one? Is it step two? Is it step three? Is it step four? Is it step five? Is it any combination of any one of those? At least one of them is false because the conclusion is wrong. Let me hear about it, so make sure to write a comment. And if you haven't subscribed already or liked the video, please do so. It really helps support the channel. I'm looking forward to hearing your responses for this.